Hi friends, our next live session for all of our AI students is called multi-threading in Python with specific focus on machine learning and AI applications, right? So this is not general multi-threading, but we'll introduce the basic concepts of multi-threading in Python and we'll learn how they are typically used specifically for machine learning and data science applications in general. This live session is a public live session, which means it's accessible to everyone via youtube.com. And I, we will also post in the description section of this video, just below this, we will post the actual live session link itself. This live will be from 7 p.m. Most likely this will be a one and a half to two hour live session. So this is on the coming Sunday on the 23rd of August, which is tomorrow and it will be at 7 p.m. So it will be like a 90 to 120 minutes live session. First, we will cover a bunch of concepts for about uh, for about 90 for about 70 to 90 minutes we will cover a bunch of concepts and code walkthroughs so we'll do a lot of code walkthrough and conceptual understanding also here then we will spend about 30 minutes 20 to 30 minutes in a QA where we'll try to answer as many questions as possible from the chat window on youtube now for this session the prerequisites would be basic understanding of python programming so you should know the basics of python programming for sure otherwise you'll not be able to understand why we need multi-threading and how to write multi-threaded code and if you know some machine learning algorithms you will be able to better appreciate how multi-threading is used in machine learning algorithms for example we will discuss something like let's take logistic regression right so we will see how you can use multi-threading to speed up logistic regression training right we'll also discuss a little bit of how multi-threaded code can be written for specifically data science and machine learning applications right so there will be two parts in this first is an overview of general multi-threading in python then specifically for machine learning and ai applications how this can be used right so it is always better if you have some basic understanding of machine learning but even if you don't understand machine learning algorithms you will be able to understand the first part of this if you have basic understanding of python programming right so See you all tomorrow at 7 p.m. on our YouTube channel and uh, hope to have some interesting conversations and discussions in the Q&A session right after the whole concepts and code walkthrough is covered.